You'll remember from a previous video that communicable diseases are diseases that can be spread. They are caused by pathogens. A pathogen is a microorganism that causes disease. There are several types of pathogens, and we're going to go through those now. The first we are going to look at is a bacteria. These are very small cells that can reproduce rapidly. They make you feel ill by producing toxins, which are kind of like poisons that damage your cells and tissues. The second are viruses, and I'm drawing this here now. These are not cells, but they're even smaller than bacteria. They also reproduce rapidly. They live and reproduce inside of our cells. The cell usually bursts, releasing all the new viruses. This cell damage is what makes you feel ill. The third is protist. These are single cell eukaryotes. Some are parasites, i.e. they live on or inside other organisms and can cause damage. They are often carried by a vector. The final is a fungi. Some fungi are single celled. Others have a body. These can grow and penetrate human skin and the surface of plants. They produce spores which can be spread. Diseases can be spread in a number of ways. The first of which is water, which can be picked up by drinking or bathing in dirty water. It can also be spread by air and breathed in. Some are carried in droplets produced when you cough or sneeze. It can also be spread through direct contact, i.e. by touching contaminated surfaces, including skin. And finally, they can be spread by vectors, which are organisms that spread the disease. We can prevent the spread of disease in a number of ways. The first of which is being hygienic. Simple hygiene measures can prevent the spread of disease. For example, washing hands after you've sneezed in them or before preparing food. We can destroy vectors, getting rid of the organisms that spread disease. This can be with insecticide or by destroying their habitat. We can isolate infected individuals. This prevents individuals passing it on to someone else. And we can also use vaccination. This means they can't develop the infection and then pass it on to someone else. We will look at this in a future video. You have now learnt about communicable diseases, the different pathogens that can cause these and how they are spread and how we can prevent them from being spread. You will find a summary of this information below. Make sure you test yourself using the quiz on reviseitright.com. Why are we the best revision website out there? Well, because we have it all in one place. Revision notes, summary videos, longer, more detailed videos for topics you're struggling on. Exam question walkthrough videos, where qualified teachers take you through the perfect answers to exam questions. Worksheets, quizzes, computer marked exam questions, interactive flashcards, forums, the ability to keep track on where you are using our tick list and so much more. But that's not all. We run at least three live lessons a week and closer to exam time, this will be more where you can tune into a qualified teacher teaching lots of different topics each week. The lessons will be interactive and we go through exam questions and quick quizzes to ensure understanding as you go. We also run drop-in sessions where you can drop in, ask a tutor anything live, get the answer that you need and leave. These are included in our silver and gold membership. This means that for an extra £10 a month, you can access at least 12 hours of lessons a month. That's under £1 an hour, which is incredibly cheap. Still not convinced? Try us completely free for seven days and cancel any time. Completely free of charge. We offer this because we're convinced that you'll love us. So try us now.